Good morning, Hero Wars fans. In this video, I would like to talk about a bug in Guild War that occurs when players ignore the red dots on attack targets. In Guild Wars, it is possible to indicate who should attack where by displaying a red dot to guild mates participating in the Guild War. If the guild mate attacks honestly the defense base with his name indicated by the red dot, there will be no system glitch at all. However, did you know that if someone other than the name displayed on the defensive base attacks the defensive base, it will no longer be possible to issue new attack instructions to the person whose name was displayed on the defensive base? For example, suppose Mr. A is instructed to attack bridge. However, when Mr. B logs into the game, decides that he can drop the bridge himself, and attacks the bridge displaying Mr. A's name without erasing Mr. A's name, a glitch occurs in the Hero Wars system. In this case, even though Mr. A has two attacks left, if someone tries to issue an attack order to Mr. A, he can only issue one attack order. By clicking on this symbol next to the flag of the guild in the Guild War screen, you can see how many attacks are left in the entire guild, as you can see here. This screen shows that there are 27 attacks left, but if Hara88 is experiencing a system glitch, it is no longer possible to issue two attack instructions to Hara88, and only one attack instruction can be issued. Even with these glitches, Hara88 is still capable of two attacks, but when the Operation Commander tries to issue instructions to Hara88, the Operation Commander is only able to issue one attack instruction to Hara88. The only way to notice the occurrence of this glitch is to count and match the number of people displayed in the enemy's defensive base while keeping track of the number of attacks remaining for the entire guild, which is a major problem for the Operations Commander. It is easy to notice when the number of attacks remaining for the entire guild is low, but it is difficult to notice in situations where the entire guild has 20 or more attacks remaining. Since many people are unaware of these problems, we need to make sure that all guildmates know to cancel the name displayed on the defensive base before attacking a defensive base that is displaying someone else's name. I know this is very tedious to get the word out, so I recommend spreading this video to all of your guildmates and alerting them to this. I see so I can copy and paste the URL of this video in the guild chat and say, please watch this video. I'll talk about how to solve this system glitch. When a problem occurs that prevents the attacker from giving the attack instructions, the first thing to do is to click on the person who is having the problem on this screen. In this case, we assume that Hara88 has a problem, so we click on Hara88's name without her name glowing yellow. You will then see a screen like this. Perhaps there are many people who have experience with Operation Commander who have never clicked on a name that is not glowing yellow. When this screen appears, check the Cancel Command section and press the Green Issue Command button, and the problem that occurred to Hara88 will be resolved and you will be able to issue two attack orders against him. In the Guild War map, there is a button called General Commands in the upper left corner of the screen, and when this button is pressed, the following screen will appear. This screen only shows the defense base that won the battle and the defense base that set the attack target with a red dot, but just by looking at this screen, it is impossible to tell who has the system malfunction. This screen lists who has given orders to which defensive bases, but does not show the number of attacks remaining for the guild as a whole, so the number of attacks remaining must be known in advance by clicking on the symbol next to the guild's flag. Furthermore, even if you know the number of attacks remaining for the entire guild, it is unmanageable because you cannot tell who the system failure is against just by looking at this screen. This is the downside of the Hero Wars user interface, you can't get everything from just one screen. Let me summarize what I've said so far. To confirm that a system malfunction has occurred in Guild War, first check the number of attacks remaining by clicking on the sign next to the guild flag on this screen. Next, while clicking on every defense base of the enemy that has not fallen, count the number of attacks remaining and the number of people's names displayed, and check for any discrepancies. Finally, click on the name of the person on this screen who is experiencing a malfunction. Even if the name is not glowing yellow, clicking on the name will bring up this screen, and the only way to resolve the problem is to check the cancel command and press the issue command button. This is the most annoying problem for operation commanders, isn't it? Yes, that's right. That's why we have to make sure that all guild members know that they must cancel the attack command before attacking an enemy defense base that is displaying someone else's name. The beauty of this video is that it also includes a link to the English audio version of the video in the description section so that Hero Wars fans around the world can understand what the video is about. The English audio version of this video is subtitled in 48 languages around the world, so you can introduce your guildmates to the English audio version of this video as well without worrying about which language they understand. 
You seem to be working very hard today to spread the word about this video. I'm trying very hard to spread the video today, because my income depends on the number of times the video is viewed. Thank you for watching the video until the last part. I'll see you in my next video.